Tuka Killer, his real killer, has been revealed. I didn't think I'd be doing no more videos on Tuka. I thought that case was closed shut. I said, I'm done with that. We're going to let that live. We're going to let that leave and be in peace. Well, a guy today kind of self-snitched, not on his own self, but on his homie. He told the world his friend is really the real killer behind Tuka. I couldn't believe this when I seen this. I thought this was wild, some of the wildest stuff. And y'all be acting like bloggers, the police. I said, this is a little bit policey right here, you know. Uh, hit the like button. Goes on this video, 2,000 likes. We need this video to rise all the way to the top. It's a lot of fake videos about Tuka and things that were said about Tuka. It's a guy who claiming his close friend killed Tuka. I don't think he lying. I don't think he'll just be coming on his internet making up lies about his friend and his friend passed and all his friends. Look, his friend passed. The friend who passed relatives following his Instagram and all kind of stuff, I don't think he'll just put that out and he lying on it. So hit the like button. I'm gonna give you a second to hit the like button. Everybody watching this video, I wanna see over a thousand likes on this video. Not for the clout, but to finally put this to rest, you know, for the internet, you know. It's a guy named OTF Black. He stamped that his homie dude from Trap City who was killed is the real person behind Two Good Death. He posted that up. That's on his social media right now. It might be took down now, you know, but it's up there right now. This guy said his homie is behind the death uh, what the world smoking or something like that. If only the world know that he really behind the death of what everybody's smoking. And people say he talking about Tuka. This ain't no cap, this ain't no joke. He talking about Tuka is what people saying. He didn't say his name, but he's alleging, alluding to Tuka. This wild to be honest with you, you know. You know, I guess, you know, it's a lot of people claiming things. As crazy as this sound, in this era, you know, people like to get their respect for that body. You know what I'm saying? People want to be known as the person for that body. I know you might look at it like it's crazy. Like, you know, you got to keep it a secret, but you don't get no clout from it. And it looked like he wanted to give that clout to his homie who passed away. And like he can go to jail for it or anything like that. But he wanted him to get the crop for that. You know, I guess he tired of, you know, people saying Odie Perry did it or people saying other people did it. Remember, it was the artist FBG Butter who testified in the courtroom, you know, about, you know, um, Odie Perry and things like that, you know, from back in the day. So, you know, this kind of screwed it. Remember, it was a federal case and those questions got brought up. You know, as crazy as that sounds, so, but it's got to be bringing this up. Sounds very policey. Nobody in the world knew this. You know, nobody in the world knew any of this information. He making it sound like he was there. If only the world knew, he making it sound like he was next to him when this shit happened. You know, that's why you got to be careful sometimes when you trying to let the world know things and self snitching. But I wanted to bring to your attention this guy named OTI Black stamped that dude from Trap City is the real person who killed Tuka. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie truth. Blah.